on those. Well, we have two major breakthroughs in fertility treatment to tell you about this morning, and they're happening right here in the Bay Area. Many target California mom Nadia Sulman as almost a poster child for what can go wrong with in vitro fertilization and the dangers surrounding multiple births. But with today's advanced technology, doctors no longer even need to transfer more than one egg during IVF. The positive is that the success rates have increased tremendously over the past 10 years. So that now we've reached a level where we can transfer a single embryo in select couples and have as high of a pregnancy rate as if we put in two and avoid the risk of multiple pregnancy. Reproductive medicine groups, Dr. Sandy Goodman says the whole media circus around Octomom left many people questioning safety issues surrounding IVF. Goodman says her clinic follows strict guidelines set by the American Society of Reproductive Medicine. So it's not a matter of a couple coming in and saying we want to transfer six or seven embryos. That would not be possible in our practice. It would not be ethical. Another major breakthrough in reproductive medicine to give couples hope for the future, a technique once only available to men. Quack. Uh, they would not freeze correctly. Now we have new technology to allow us to freeze the eggs so that women prior to undergoing chemotherapy can have their eggs retrieved and stored so that they can be able to conceive later after they are cured from their cancer. The reproductive group was one of the first in the Bay Area to begin freezing a woman's egg and says it is now seeing great success in the procedure for men. There are a number of reasons men and women might choose to freeze sperm or eggs. For example, a woman struggling with cancer can now be hopeful of conceiving after her treatment is over. And even though it's really controversial, uh, but it's still a reality, you know, a lot of women are waiting to have children later in life. So that's another reason that they're turning to this technology. But regardless, it's amazing that we have all of these resources and breakthroughs happening successfully. The success rate there is huge for um, IVF. It's, you know, well over 50 percent. So. Wow. That's promising for couples, you know, hoping to bring a miracle into the world. Definitely. I think the key word there certainly is hope. You it, know, it gives you an option. And exactly. whether or not you agree with it, at least you have a choice, maybe. Exactly. So I understand a huge popular show.